Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a brand new video and today we are here for the start of Forza RC Season 4. Yeah, I sort of touched on this when I released the Dirt 4 Esports Qualifier uh, a couple of days back now. But yeah, today I wanted to start bringing you highlights from the Forza RC Season 4. Obviously this is one of probably one of the biggest series you'll see from Motorsport in Esports right now. Obviously hosted on the Xbox One on Forza Motorsport, which you know I've been playing fairly competitively over the last couple of years but we're here today for my first qualification run unfortunately as you can see i actually left my face cam in there that was an accident i didn't actually intend to leave that in there as well so you get to enjoy my face throughout the entirety of this race but overall this was for the top 400 from the european uh the europe middle east and africa region so really really happy you know i was able to get in the top 400 i'm sort of going to talk over some of this race sort of about how the, how the whole system works and things. So obviously you can watch the race in the background as well. But yeah, basically this was the top 400 from the first Rivals event, which lasted three days. I think I came about P43, 44th in Europe and then like P60 odd, 70 odd in the world. Unfortunately, you can't actually see where I ended up coming in the end. So obviously I was quite happy, you know, to be able to, you know, I really haven't been playing fours that much recently. So I was really Really happy you know, to end up actually qualifying that high. And as you can see in this race, uh, and unfortunately, quite a few people actually decided to no show. We were meant to have a lobby of 20 here because see, we actually only had a lobby of 11. So I was actually second on the grid after being the second fastest from the qualifiers because the person in front of me, AMS Roadrunner, if you don't keep up with the Forza scene particularly, well, he, he won the last Forza RC Championship. So I think it was going to be very, very unlikely that we were going to be able to beat him in today's race. But nonetheless, we will try our absolute hardest as well. But yeah, basically, the system for Forza RC is very, very odd. What you've got to do is, if, uh, I'm going to explain this from a European point of view, you've got to get the top 400 in the Rivals event. You'll then be put into one lobby of 20. There'll be 20 lobbies of 20 cars. From that, you've got to get in the top four from that race, qualifying to the top 80 overall. Then you'll have to do three races if you make the top 80. If you come the top six in your lobby again, you then go into the top 24, and then the top 12 from that 24 go into a final race. And that is on the Wednesday. So it's it's pretty... It's overly complicated. I think they've massively made this far more complex than they ever really needed to. But yeah, that's that's the way Forza have decided to do it. But as I said, you know, I basically came into this race second fastest in my lobby. Uh, obviously, the aim was to try and get top four so I can move on into the next round, which will actually be later on this evening. I'm trying to get these highlights out nice and quickly this will just be the full race from the first race of the season but yeah hopefully the aim obviously the top 50 in the world at the very end go to seattle from season one so obviously the aim is to try and get there but I, I probably won't i just i just don't have that much commitment on forza in recent times so i really have to try and grind out especially with uh, dirt 4 and f1 as well obviously it's gonna be a real real struggle to try and get that high overall but you know you don't know unless you try. But I'm going to leave you on board then with the rest of this race, the next four laps. We've got Roadrunner absolutely pulling the way and obviously I'm just going to try and hold to P2. Unfortunately, can't see the positions uh, like who's where, but you'll know obviously you can see I'm P2 if you don't know who's actually around me. It was FCR Bobby, uh, Rudy Rudy or something like that, and my teammate EVR Bolton, who obviously I was hoping he'd get through as well. But yeah, I'll leave you on board then, as I said, with the rest of this race and I'll see you guys at the end.
So you can see then coming down into the final corner of this race. And overall, uneventful is probably the right way to describe it on the whole. You know, we, there's no real point. You're only top four. I wasn't really going to try and run leaderboard times throughout the entirety of this. So quite happy overall with my time. My teammate, EVR Bolton, did actually come through for P3. That was really, really good to see as well. Which means we got the top two. Well, the two from our lobby from EVR have gone through. The other guys are actually running their runs. Uh, trying to qualify into the top 80 as I actually speak as well. So obviously good luck to all of those guys. And hopefully we'll be in a lobby with more of those guys over the course of the evening. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this first race. As I said, really, really going to try and upload as much of the Forza RC content as I possibly can. We've got, uh, obviously, the next uh, highlights coming out. They'll probably come out tomorrow morning. I've got Dirt for Esports. The highlights from that will be coming out Monday as well. But thank you all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys next time for a brand new video.